Hello, in this video we're going to look at a three consumer exchange economy. We have three consumers in this economy and there are three goods, good X, good Y, and good Z. Here's consumer one's utility function and consumer one has an endowment of good Z that equals two. Consumer two's utility function and consumer two has an endowment of good X equal to four. And finally, consumer three. Here's consumer three's utility function. And consumer three has an endowment of good Y that equals eight. We want to solve for the Walrasian equilibrium. So we're going to start for uh, consumer one. Uh, we're going to solve for demand equation. So here's consumer one's utility function over good X and good Y. And reminding ourselves that consumer has an endowment of good Z that equals two. Given this Cobb-Douglas utility function, uh, the exponents here sum the one. And that will reflect that the consumer will spend half his income on good X and the other half on good Y. So the demand for good X for consumer one is going to be half his income, 0.5 times income. Uh, he's going to spend half his income on good X. And if we divide that by the price of good X, we'll find the number of units that this consumer can afford. So what is this consumer's income? It's going to be two units of good Z times the price of good Z. So just simplifying here, 0.5 times 2, we have consumer 1's demand for good X. Consumer 1's demand for good Y. Uh, once again, the consumer will spend half his income on good Y. And the price of good Y is just represented by P subscript Y. Making a substitution for income, 2 times the price of good Z, where 2 again is the endowment of good Z. Simplifying this, we have the demand for good Y. For consumer one, is the price of good Z divided by the price of good Y. Moving on to consumer two. Consumer two's utility is over good Y and good Z. Consumer two has an endowment of X that equals four. And like the previous consumer, uh, this consumer will spend half his money on one good and the other half on the other good. So the demand for good Y for consumer two will be given by the following equation. Half the income divided by the price of good Y. Making some substitutions here. What is income? It's four times the price of good X. And that'll just simplify to this. <clears throat> and the demand for good Z. Uh, same thing. Half his income will be spent on good Z uh, divided by the price of good Z. And simplifying we get this. So we're going to do the same thing here for consumer three. Uh, this consumer will spend half his income on good X. The consumer's income is eight times the price of good Y. And simplifying, we get this. And for good Z, uh, the demand for good Z will look something like this. All right, moving on. So I'm just going to rewrite the consumer demand equations. Here's consumer one's demand equations, good X and good Y. Cons consumer two has demand for good Y and good Z. And consumer three has demand for good X and good Z. First thing we're going to do is we're going to normalize one of the prices to help simplify this. It doesn't matter which price we normalize. Uh, we're going to normalize. I'm going to choose to normalize the price of good Z to equal one. Again, there's no right or wrong here. It's the relative prices that matter anyhow. So we're going to normalize the price of good Z to equal 1. And we're just going to substitute 1 in for the price of good Z uh, wherever we see it over here on the left. So for the demand for good, uh, good X for consumer 1, making that substitution in for price of Z. Doing the same thing for the demand for good Y. Uh, the demand for good Z for consumer 2, price of good Z is 1, so just simplifying. Uh, 
don't have to do anything here for the demand for good X for consumer uh, three, uh, but the demand for good Z for consumer three will simplify to four times the price of good Y. Okay, moving on. Just rewriting those demand equations for the three consumers after normalizing the price of goods Z to equal one. Our next step is to calculate the market demand. So the market demand for good X is going to be consumer one's demand for good X plus consumer three's demand for good X. So just making those substitutions. That is the market demand for good X. Doing the same thing for good Y, we'll get the market demand for good Y by adding up the individual demands for good Y. We get this. And finally doing a similar thing for good Z, adding up consumer 2's demand for Z and consumer 3's demand for Z. We get the following. Okay, moving on. We're going to set the market demands equal to the total endowment in this three consumer exchange economy. The total endowment for good X is four. So doing that substitution here. Uh, the total endowment for good Y is eight units. So the demand for good Y uh, is going to be uh, the demand equation for good of Y will be set equal to eight. And doing a similar thing for Z. In this economy, we had an endowment of Z equal to 2. So setting the demand for Z equal to 2, we get the following. And now, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this uh, last equation right here. And I'm going to just solve it for the price of X. So doing that, we get this. Dividing everything through by 2 on top and then moving some things around. We'll get this. I'm now going to plug this into the demand for good Y. So here's the demand for good Y where I see the price of good X. I'm going to plug in 1 minus 2 times the price of good Y. So making that substitution. Now we got one equation and one unknown and we can solve for the price of good Y. So 2 times 1 and 2 times minus 2 times the price of good y gives us this. Uh, another, simplif <clears throat> another simplification, I'll just divide everything through by, I'm sorry, I'll multiply everything through. I'll multiply everything through by the price of good y. And that will leave something like this. <clears throat> and adding 4 times the price of good y to both sides, we're going to see that the price of good y is 3 divided by 12, or 0 0.25. Taking this 0 0.25 for the price of good y and plugging it back into let's say this equation up here we see that the price of good x is 0.5 or 50 cents so here's all our prices again we normalize the price of good z to equal one we found the price of good x to be 0.5 and the price of good y to be 0.25 now let's evaluate all our individual demands at these Walrasian prices. So consumer one will get two units of X. Consumer one will get four units of good Y. This one divided by the price of good Y here. Uh, consumer two will enjoy four units of good Y after making our substitutions in for the prices. And consumer two will enjoy one unit of good Z. Consumer 3 will enjoy 2 units of good X and 1 unit of good Z. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.